Okay, here we are. We're doing a little bit of a training session here. I have a small training group uh, that I put together with uh, people that are really interested in, in, in taking their dogs uh, to the ultimate level of master, master level dogs. So I have a small training group I've started, um, and this is kind of like the beginning stages of it. So, um, we've got a little problem, problem with Joe's dog. Uh, Joe, why don't you tell me a little bit of the problem that you're having with the dog? Uh, he doesn't retrieve fine, but he seems to mouth it. What, why, do you, it back. why do you think he's mouthing? How old is your dog? How old is he? Dog is 16 months. Okay, so 17. he's yep. he's a full-grown dog. Uh, he's 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 uh, probably got some bad habits that need mm -hmm. to be corrected. And, and why do you think that is? Well, when we was a puppy, we gave him a squeaky toy. Right. And that was just to keep him quiet because he was kind of a hyper dog. And uh, I think now I've seen him pick up pigeons, and I hear him squeaking, and I think that's what causes. So you think the association is yep. from not being educated, mm -hmm. not knowing that you shouldn't give a spaniel right. a squeaky toy right. or, or some other other things, and, and now uh, you've got uh, a very dominant dog, mm -hmm. um, and we need to correct we need to correct that problem. What brought you to this this training group uh, to work with? Uh, with somebody that knows a little bit about Spanish. What was your reason for coming to this group? Well, basically, I knew nothing about it. I read a lot of books, but I needed somebody with hands-on experience. And then I found you through Craigslist, and uh, here we are. Okay, great. So we know that um, we, we've got a very dominant Springer here, um, a very bold dog, uh, and we're going to try to uh, correct this mouthing problem. And, and when we talk about mouthing, uh, we're, talk, we're not talking about hard mouth. It's two separate entities there. Mouthing is when a dog is handling, handling, handling. He's always flipping or adjusting the bird's mouth or always moving his mouth on the bird as he's retrieving. We want to try to correct that, okay? There's several ways that we can correct it. Of course, there's the force break on the bench, the hard force break. There's a soft force break on the bench, and we'll get into some of that stuff later on. And there's a method that I've used um, when I've had some dogs. I've trained a lot of my puppies that I sold that come back for training, whether it was for Upland game, hunt test, uh, that type of stuff. Even some Spaniels were uh, trained for duck hunting. Um, the scenario was that they would go home as puppies and they would come in the next season for training and they'd send the client home with some instructions, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And naturally, uh, at times, non-voiced people, uh, they do things that, that really we have to correct with dogs. So um, I've, I've tried a few things with, with this to correct it and I've been probably 90% successful, okay? And the, the trick is to, is first of all, we want to make sure that the dogs are already uh, introduced to birds, clip wings, that type of stuff. We're not having an intro problem with birds. They're comfortable pretty much handling birds, just that they're mouthing birds, and we're at a point where we need to fix that. So the bird intro is already done. I can't stress that enough. What we're going to do here is we're going to do like a form of almost like a form of collar training. We're going to teach the dog the way out, and, uh, or the, the way out of pressure, shall we say. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the dog, your dog's name is Tucker, Tucker. Right? We're going to take Tucker, we're going to put him in the pen, and uh, uh, this fly pen here, we're going to throw a bird for him, and we're going to let him go out, retrieve it, and come back, come back to us. If he, on his returns, when he starts to doing this mouthing, okay, Joe is going to have to, this is a dominant dog, so what you're going to need to do is let this dog know that, hey, you are below me in the pack order here, in the family pack. I'm above you. I'm the ma I'm the main dog. I'm in charge. Okay. We have to send that message to the dog. Okay. So we have to be firm. Sometimes we have to be loud, and we have to give the dog the type of correction that justifies the type of dog that he mm -hmm. is and where he is in the pecking order. Okay. So when he comes back with a retrieve, if he's mouthing the bird, what we're going to do is you're going to take your thumb, you're going to put it inside his cheek, and you're going to push his teeth, his cheek down on his teeth. Give him a little bit of, of hard pressure there. I want you to get a good firm hold of him and shake him really good and say, no, be nice. Mm -hmm. After you take the bird and then throw another bird for him. What we want to teach him is if he continues to do that, he's going to get that pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
when he decides to just handle it softly, good boy. All right. We're going to teach the dog how to shut the pressure off. Okay. This has worked with for me many and many a times, and it saves a lot of heartache when having to try to force break a dog and making sure that he's not handling the bird. So let's give it a shot. Okay. Let's go. Tucker. Be nice. Tuck her hand. Be nice. Be nice. Squeeze in. But he, he did do it. He is getting Get better, better already. Yeah. The correction. See, the level of correction for the dog is crucial on how hard and how loud Good. you get with the dog. Okay? Because that's going to make ah. him stop doing it. Be nice. You need to be a little louder, Joe. Okay. I want you to be more. I want you to be more um, in control. I want you to let him know that you're the boss. Okay. When he comes in like that, we take it from. Try to show him a full wide chest. Let him see you. Don't, you know what I mean? And then take the bird home. You want to be uh, in, kind of intimidating to a dog like this. Some spaniels we can't be intimidating. Right. Okay. Because of the, the nature of the beast. He is a dog that um, I don't think much up upsets him. Mm -hmm. so we want to be kind of intimidating to let him know that you, he's here in the pecking order, you're here, okay? So let's be a little more aggressive with him on his correction. He's going to be a very aggressive dog on, on bird. Tucker, hand. Good. And good, nice pet, lavish. Let him know he's a good boy. Now, let's talk a little bit about good boy type stuff, okay? We're teaching a dog to not do something. So when he's good, let's let him know he's okay. good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. When you have enthusiasm, the dog has enthusiasm. Okay? Great. Be good. Be nice. Be nice. Try to make sure you use the same command, Joe. Nice grab on the air. That's good. Yeah. Yes, Beautiful. good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Beautiful. Good boy. Let's go. Tuck her hand. Correction. Ah. Be nice. Be nice. Let's go to a fresh bird. We have one? Alright, cuz we use the bird. Tuck her hand. Good boy. on birds and we get control of this dog, yeah. he's going to be a very flashy dog. A lot of people are going to pay attention. Um, all right, we're going to end it there, all right? We, the dog is starting to understand. Now, we want to make sure that we don't do it to continue to drill it and drill it, and uh, we're only, you know, 30% successful instead of, I would say here, we're probably uh, somewhere in the, in the 60 or 70% um, of, of uh, success. 
What I want you to do now is I want you to drill this every day. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to do any other type of retrieving with this dog at all, okay? What I want you to do is now that he's getting the idea, all right? I want you to make it so that he is successful more and more till eventually this bad habit goes away. Now, if you're not correcting this mm -hmm. issue in a week's time, it's your fault. And the reason why it's your fault is because your corrections aren't stern enough. He's not gonna shut down on birds. Mm -hmm. We've already proven that in the right. field. He, he had that little apprehension about picking up and coming back to you because we were correcting him. Mm -hmm. But he continued to pick birds up, so I yep. don't think that's gonna be a problem where he's gonna start blinking birds. We have to always be careful of that. But in a week's time, you should see this dog 90% mm -hmm. on the correction of this. If you continue with that, we'll put this to bed and uh, we'll move on in our training. Okay. So I hope you get some great information out of this. This helps uh, a lot of uh, training issues, retrieving issues. And um, we'll come back at some point and, and see how Tucker's doing.